for modeling and uh, typography. So we left off at uh, actually doing the make 2D to create a, a 2D drawing of our site plan. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to start to add roads, uh, trees, entourage, um, all of those things. Um, the first thing that you want to do is uh, typically with uh, a site plan, when you have contours, you want to create contour markers. So for example, every two feet, you'll actually write the elevation of that contour. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in text in Rhino. And uh, let's say our elevation, our base elevation is 600 feet. So that would be 600 feet above sea level. And you would put that on the line itself. And then typically every two feet, uh, you would actually have uh, another elevation marker. So every two feet, I'm starting to put that marker um, on those contour lines. Um, so let's go ahead and start to change it. So that was 600, so this will be 602. Um, this will be 604. This will be 606. Um, 608, and so forth. And you do this for all of the elevation changes. So you can see that this continues here. And then if you go 609, and this will be 610 right here. So let's move that there. So this will be 610. Then if you do two ahead of that, uh, that's going to be 612, and that's going to be 614. So yeah, just make sure that you know all of it uh, ends up looking correct, uh, that all of your elevation markers are right. And this is just in terms of a site plan, it's easier for people to read and understand uh, which way it's moving up. So we have those elevation markers, so that's done. Uh, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to start to put in some roads. So let's make a new layer. Uh, we'll call it uh, roads. And it's completely up to you how you want uh, your site uh, to be. For example, this is more of a flat surface, so I think I'm going to put my road right over here. And I'm going to offset it um, 11 feet for one lane road. So let's make it uh, 23 feet, so 22, and we'll leave a foot uh, left over. Use a trim command and just take off anything that's unnecessary. And then, of course, like any um, house, you would have a driveway. So let's make a, let's make our driveway kind of go up to the front door. Um, so I'm just drawing lines. Um, let's say we have a 12 foot driveway, and then we're just connecting to the street. And a command that's useful is the fillet command. So if you type in a fillet or a fillet. Um, for the radius, uh, we could do a radius like uh, two feet, for example, just so that that you know that entrance is kind of uh, turned a little bit. Let's go to our trim command, and we're gonna once again trim that kind of entryway for that car. So this is kind of your road, and then you have like just you know a very sharp driveway, and then let's join these together. So we'll type in join. And then we're going to fillet these corners as well, because typically on a curb, you wouldn't have such a sharp point. So we'll type in fillet again, and we'll put our radius as, let's do one feet, for example. And we're just kind of curving it, so it looks a little bit more uh, natural, I would say. So yeah, that's kind of our road, and that's kind of our driveway into our site. And you can obviously get rid of this elevation marker, because, you know, you have a driveway. Um... Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is now that we've done this quick road and we've done this quick driveway, we're going to put in some trees. Um, so you should have already downloaded the 2D symbol library from uh, Rhino's uh, website. So we're going to go into there. So let's type in import. And uh, we're going to go to that folder that we saved, Rhino 2D symbol library. And it has all of these different standards. You also have, you know, electrical symbols, um, architectural. But for us, we're going to do site. So let's go to AEC. Under AEC, you're going to see all of these things like legends. You start to have civil. Um, we're going to go to site. And we're just going to pick uh, a tree that's top view. So I think this tree looks nice. Let's do this. So we imported this tree into here. So it's right over here. And we're going to put this on a different layer. So let's call this uh, trees. And we're just going to change object to that layer. So this is our tree. And it's fairly small, so you can just use a gumball to resize it. 
and you can resize it to whatever you wish. Um, but let's say if we want to be very particular, let's say we want our diameter to be 10 feet. Then we can just take, uh, oh, and for the tree, select the entire tree and make sure to type in group. So that way um, everything is together. Otherwise you're gonna have a hundred different lines. So now that we have our reference point, uh, let's just quickly scale this tree so it has um, a 10 foot diameter. So that's, that looks right. And then we can start to place these trees um, along our site wherever we you know wherever we want to add those trees we can just kind of place it in there and of course it's normal for trees that they're not always the same size they're going to be different sizes so yeah, just you know you can definitely do different uh, sizes for trees and feel free to import uh, a different type of tree as well so we can import uh, this tree too and um, we're going to scale it up again Let's make sure to group it and change it to our trees layer. Then we can just put another different type of tree, you know, like a different species of tree. And we can start to place it as well. So yeah, this is looking pretty good. Uh, so we have these different trees. We have our contour markers. Uh, we have our elevation labels um, and we have our road driveway and we have our building as well. And of course, my building is a flat roof, but you can imagine that if it was a gable roof, you would have a line in the middle um, to show the slope um, for both of those roofs. And uh, yeah, and always just make sure that there's different layers. So if I select objects, um, all of my trees are on that one layer. And then you wanna go back in there, you wanna make sure that each of these line weights, they're on a different layer and that you have your own special line weights. And then we can actually export it um, into uh, Photoshop and get you know an actual side plan so that's it for this video um, that's gonna be you know just a quick introduction just make sure that when you're exporting this uh, you have a proper scale so whether that scale is 3 16 or whether it's a 1 32nd make sure you have a proper scale make sure that you have uh, multiple line weights it's recommended that when you have contour lines you either want to have a very light line or you want to have um, a hidden line uh, those are two ways of just showing that it's almost like a very light uh, representation of those contours. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for this video.